Borda. Good morning, Saturday morning, and I am out on a walk. Um, it's been well. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been out on the hills. I'm headed to the Cludy and the Cludy Mountain Range, which is ahead of me there. That's Penaclovii. Just about make out a bit of Moyle Arthur, but I'm heading for the highest mountain, which is uh, Moyle Vamai. There's Moyle Park, TV mast. Don't know if you can see it on this uh, shot, but uh, yeah, funnily enough, I park up in Flandernog and I walk from there. But you can't see Moyle Vamai, even though it's the highest peak, you can't see it until the very last sort of climb, which you'll see later in the video. But yeah, it's the highest hill. It's not a mountain. They call it the Cludian Mountain Range, but they're not mountains really, they're just hills. But I'm heading, like I say, for Moyle Vamai, which is the highest on the Cludian Mountain Range. So, let's keep going. It's good to be back on the hills. <laughs> right, it's a fairly flat road section from Flandernog. Uh, but yeah, there's the Cludian Mountain Range. There's Moyle Arthur. And a Clothiae, Moyla Park, Moyla Vamma is way that way, but you can't see it even though it's the highest hill, you cannot see it until the very sort of last, well, second to last steep section, it's way over that direction. But uh, yeah, anyway, I've got a couple of miles to go before I turn off and then I start climbing on the mountains. Then. Something's gone wrong with that sign. That Hendra Ruiz, well, it says Endra Ruiz, but it's bent. Hendra Ruiz, it's down that way. But well, that's where I'm heading. Sangin Havel. And as you can see, Sandernog, where I've just come from, it's one and a half miles. So, anyway, Sangin Havel, half a mile. <laughs> a very battered sign. So I'll be turning off then. And then I'll make the. First of three steep sections. No traffic though. Although this road's pretty quiet anyway. You get the odd car every you know a few minutes or what have you, but anyway, keep going. Half a mile, Slangin Havel. And like I said, for the most of the walk you cannot see my van my it's there, behind there. And even though it is the highest of you know the Cluding Mountain Range. You don't see it until the last of the second steep section, which you'll see a bit later on in the video. So I've got about a quarter of a mile to Slangin Havel, then I'll be turning off at the stocks for the first steep section, first of three steep sections. So this is Slangin Havel. So I turn right and then left, and then that's where it's going to get a bit interesting. These are the stocks. So this is where I turn off. Road ahead closed due to flood damage. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so see if we can get through. I hope so. Because <laughs> it's a long way back. Anyway, keep going. This is where the first first of the three steep sections, so I don't know, it's road ahead closed, but I'll get through. <laughs> Danger is my middle name. It'll start getting very steep soon. Let's just pass in uh, Sangin Havel. Eglis, Sangin Havel, or Sangin Havel Church. And still no sign of any road blockage, but we'll see. Here now, and suitable for. What does it say? Motor, if you can read that. It's got unsuitable for motor vehicles. <laughs> so this is where it gets interesting. First of three steep sections. And when I say steep, I mean steep. So no sign of any flood damage as yet. But it'll get very steep in a minute. Just around that bend at the top there. And then it turn off and it gets a bit level. Ish, and then I've got another steep section, and then it levels off ish. You climb slightly, but it's not too bad. 
and then you got the final push then the final steep section section and at the end of the second steep section that's the first time you, you get you get to see more of my in the Jubilee Tower which I'll show you a bit later right <laughs> may not look it but this road is steep as I say the first of three I always remember I've talked about this before see where it runs down the, the water and I oh, stop for a breather I have been hill walking for quite some time so it takes a bit to get in, back into it and as I say this road is steep uh, or track whatever you want to call it Whew, but yeah you can see but it's running down there but it was covered it was in the winter so I've done this walk a million and one times and it was frozen solid and you're about you're walking you're about three feet and you slide back two feet and three feet and you kept sliding back it was unbelievable I think it took me about an hour to get up this but I like this route because it's nice and quiet I've never ever met anyone until the very last steep section it's the final push up to the summit but from here onwards bottom road you get the odd car but when you actually you leave the road now in the flattish section and you've got the second steep section then you actually see the summit and then your destination um, I've never ever met another walker it's a very quiet walk so if you like your, your quiet walks this is the one for you anyway whew, keep going I'll be turning off there's no sign of any flood damage but this is higher up anyway keep going I'll be turning off soon a few hundred yards and then a flattish section and then the second steep section and I'll see the summit more than I right. this is where I turn off it'll be a bit level-ish with some nice views of the Vela Cluid now then you can carry on up that way you've got another steep section and then you hit the uh, Office Dyke path turn right and then you got the the last steep sections I call it but I like going this way so it levels off a bit now nice views and then the second steep section and then actually get to see the Jubilee Tower, summit of Moel Valley. Bench there, so you can have a rest. But uh, yeah, no time for resting. <laughs> There's the uh, Vale of Cluid. Nice view of that. Yeah, sheep territory now. Sheep and lamb territory. <laughs> But uh, I'm saying that I've never met any other walkers. Probably I'll meet about 100 now. <laughs> saying that. Whew, yeah, but anyway, it levels off a bit now. And if I remember rightly, you can see, oh yeah, you can see Slandurnog from here, or part of it. That's where I've parked up when I do this walk. Oh, can you? Oh, trees have grown since I've last done this walk. I don't think you can see it. You normally see the village where I've parked up. I've walked, I don't know, two, two and a half miles, something like that. Anyway, it's, uh, oh, you can see it, so yeah. I don't know, hopefully, uh, where are we? Hopefully, can you see, oh, there. Hopefully there in the middle of the shot, you see some houses and stuff. Well, that's, uh, the Slender and I sort of packed up. So it gives you an idea of where, where I am, how far I've walked. And as I say, a bit flattish section, and then another steep section. You still cannot see my old Vamai from here. At the end of, <coughs> of the second steep section, I always split my walk and walks into sections and when I was doing my navigation course and MLTB. Just going back a bit, mountain leader training board courses. Um, that's how I taught myself 
split your, your walks and climbs into sections and stuff like that. So anyway, that's another story. Land navigation, my speciality. Right, keep going. Uh, yeah, you can see, looking back, anyway, I've shown you as I'm doing it, but be interesting to see if I meet anyone on this walk. I've never, ever, I've done this walk years and years, a million and one times. I've never, ever, on this section, anyway, only on the last section where you climb to the summit, you'll see walkers there, because that's the main, main route. So if you use this, this run, or the um, Moilartha Car Park, you can start from there, or you can start from uh, the other side, Rith inside, and Moravia. There's a few routes, loggerheads, way over the other side. It's a route from there. But uh, yeah, this is a very, always quiet, beautiful views. Just me bump into the odd sheep and the odd lamb. Anyway, keep going. And then it'll be the start of the second steep section. And then I finally get to see the summit of Moi Yay! There's the Vela Cluid. And in when are we? You can't see them today, but that direction there, on a nice clear day, you'd see the Snowdon mountain range. Or Urwithva. <laughs> Snowdonia mountain range, yeah, so you can't see them today. Anyway, keep going. Second steep section to come very shortly. Hopefully I'll get it in shots. You can't see much, it's so so bright. Uh, so anyway, it dips down and then the section it goes up there and then up there and up to the crest there. So that's the second steep section. And at the top there, yeah, well, my comes into view for the very first time on this walk. You cannot see it until you get to the top on that crest there. There's, so I'll speak to you about halfway up. It's quite a slog. And then I've got a flat-ish section. And then the final slog up to the summit then. Right, about halfway up. That's where it started down there. Looking back. Whoo! To the Cluedins. It's one thing about filming, you can stop and have a bit of a breather. Whew. And just up there, that's when I get to see more of my. Yeah, it's good to be back on the hills. It's been a while. It's been a while, I can't remember, it's months and months and months since I've had a decent walk, you know. But on the hills, I wouldn't call them mountains. Although they call them the Kaludia mountain range, but they're not high enough to be classed as mountains in my book. Anyway, just got this bit here now. And then the Jubilee Tower will come into sight. You've got your target. Just run a little bit and then it disappears again. And you've got the last steep section. And then it comes in back into view. So keep going. So looking back. That's the, uh, the start, the second steep section. So, whew, the wind's picking up. So, just over this crest here. And I'll get to see more of my Jubilee Tower. Wow, it's a fair old slogger. Whew. All right, keep going. Right, a few yards, so I should see the Jubilee to top of my, my cloud pending. So let's see. Come into view anytime soon. And there it is. <laughs> There's a Jubilee Tower, and that's the very first time in the whole of this walk that it comes into view. Oh, that's a hell of a slog, that. So 
levels off a bit ish. It's a few minor bumps, but not too bad. And then the Jubilee Tower will disappear again. And then it's the final steep section. Wow! Like I say, I've been a proper decent walk for quite some time until you, you get out of it. Probably uh, skip up this hill, but I uh, found it quite tough. I can see a bit of movement at the top there. Probably be quite busy up there. But like I say, from the Moila at the car park, I'll look ahead. Well, from the rift inside, the path is busy, but this, you, you get it all to yourself. No one that way, and there'll be no one that way until you join the office dike path. You get it all to yourself, nice quiet path, lovely views. Anyway, keep going, keep going. Sheltered from the wind here, yeah? lovely view. Sun's breaking through, but yeah, not too bad this section. A few bit bumps in it, like this one here, but not too bad. Levels off a bit further, and then the final push, the last steep section. Anyway, keep going. It's the office dike path. If you started from Moil Arthur, that's the way you'd, you'd come. And I join it, just at the bottom there. And then this final push then. The Rithin path comes along this way. And loggerheads at the back there. So yeah, it's a few ways you, well, just depends where you start from. But this path, it's always quiet. I've never met anyone on it. So, Right, keep going. There'll probably be a few up there today, being a Saturday. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Right, just joining onto the Hoffers Dyke Path now, which I have walked oh, many, many, many moons ago when I was young and fit. Well, I'm pretty fit now, but I was even fitter in them days. Uh, yeah, from Chester to Prostatin, 169 give or take miles, and I think I did it in a couple of weeks. Uh, but that was the day before video cameras and phones and stuff like that. So yeah, final push. Uh, someone going up there now. To, this is where you meet a bit, a bit of traffic now. But it's not too bad. Well, there might be a bit on the uh, summit there. But yeah, many moons ago. Uh, it's about 20 days, I think it was, in total. It's a full backpack. All right, so it's the final push now. Final slog. And we'll be at the summit. So onwards and upwards. He's having a look back at me thinking... Uh, having a bit of a break. Right, keep going onwards and upwards. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> About two thirds of the way up. So that's it. It's the last of the uh, steep sections, the third and last. There's the uh, Jubilee Tower. There's quite a few up here today, which to, to be expected. So yeah, a few hundred yards and I'll be at the summit. Now 
nice flat bit now. The sun is trying to break through. So that's it, made it to the summit of Moravamai, the highest hill in the Clergy Mountain Range. It's good to be back out, good to be back out on a decent walk. Right, so as always, thanks for joining me, hope you enjoyed it, my walk from Flandernock to the summit of Moravamai. As always, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.